It sounds crazy when I say it out loud, but this is our new home, Kimberley Joe. Until this year, we hadn't even set foot on a narrow boat. We are Tony and Sonia, and after more than 20 years of teaching, we thought you only live once, and it was time that we had some adventures. We would love it if you came along with us. Since we bought the boat, literally from week one, people have asked us, oh, could you do a tour of the boat? Lots of friends of things, but it's been so hectic, and so many things that we've changed, we've never really got around to it. But, and I was waiting for it to be tiny. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest one. We're still not going to do the, we're not doing the inside, not doing today, the inside today, today for that reason. That'll probably be after we get the washing machine delivered on Monday. But we thought, it's a nice day, it's a nice spot. Um, we're up reasonably early, so let's give it a go. So, this is going to be... A narrow boat tour. Start at the front, also known as the what, son? The bow. So I'm just going to be here for all the technical terms. So when I just go, this is it that does this. To be fair though, you have been calling this the back of the boat since we bought it. Yeah, it still feels like the back of the boat. No idea why. So start off right at the very, very front. We have got, it's quite heavy. Don't touch my... Um, that's where we've got our gas cylinders and just various bits of rubbish. So basically we store in here, we've got two 13 kilowatt, kilogram um, gas cylinders in there. We've also got the Titan our wet vac and other bits and pieces. So that's that. It's quite a nice storage space, really. Yep. The blue tape. This has just been vice. Got one more coat to go. Um, but if you've seen the previous vlogs, all the paint was peeling off. So that was a job we wanted to get it done. It was in really bad condition, the, the front catch board, like the paintwork. The actual board itself isn't too bad, um, but we had to catch it quick. So there you go. So that's the cratch board. So I only know that this is the well deck because we watched World Deck Diaries, which was one of the very first vlogs we used to watch. Yeah. Um, so for some reason I noticed the World Deck. So as you can see, this is it when the covers are on. And we have another room. It's sweltering hot in there at the moment because it's just so hot outside. Um, and here are the plants. So Sonia's got her chilli plant over there. Here's her rose. And these are her tomatoes. As you can just see the flowers starting to come out on. Tomato was on the roof, but it was getting so blown around everything that we brought it inside. We've also got two bags of wood, which we've ended up not needing, so that'll be for next winter. And underneath these, if I just lift that up, you can see there's a little bit of storage there. And on that side, same thing, put the anchors there. And just down here, that's where we put the water in, hence the word water on the front and the little wave. It takes ages, absolutely ages. So Kimberly Joe is a 58 foot long um, cruiser stern narrow boat, but by still water narrow boats. I've not heard of them, and um, but she seems, she's lovely. Yeah. But she's 58 foot long. One of the jobs that we do want to do is, we want to eventually get the size painted, don't we? Yeah, we do. So, because there's lots of little, like little bits you can see, little bits of rust. It looks like it's almost been in a shootout, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't it? Though yeah. it looks like um, what do you call them, Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah, it looks like they've had stone chips or scratched by a trees and then not been treated as soon as it happens. So that, and then rust gets in. So and it's a bit the um, the paintwork's a bit faded from the sun. Yeah. So we don't want to just paint the 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 bits. And also some of the bits are quite. We like this. Yeah, we like the little so detailing. We don't want to lose it, but we're not trusting ourselves to be able to. Otherwise, we'd paint it ourselves. But we're thinking we'll probably get someone to do it, we'll don't we? Probably get someone to do it, but that'll be that's much further down the line, I think. Yeah. The roof was done not long ago, actually, so the roof's in really good condition. The roof was, had been repainted before we got her. Yeah. And then if I get up here, we've got one of these, which I think is quite cool. So that's for helping you get up onto the roof. Yep. Just showing you there. Um, and then on top, this is for our internet. The pointing area, I think most narrow boaters have one of these. Yeah, it's very good. We're very rarely with our internet, are we? It's only been like a couple of couple times of in like all the months. The chimney comes off, which is handy because <laughs> sometimes it gets very close. Yeah. It, has, it has been like almost knocked off, hasn't it? Yeah, we've had a couple of times you've had to make a mercy dash down the gunnels to take it off. Yeah. But you can tell it's been close because um, it's got a slight lean to the cap. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and now onto the solar. I love our solar. I just think it looks quite cool. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, it's 330 each one, so there's 660 um, of the power that comes in from these. 
and they're really good. We go up in the morning and it's pretty much fully really, charged. The batteries. Yeah. By the time we get, well, we get up, we don't get up that late, but no. And obviously, this is just so you can turn it. So the sun's over there at the moment, which okay. is why it's lent that way. Fitted by Malone Electrical Solar Services. Yeah. Super job. Very actually, good. Really impressed with them, actually. And Sonia will probably be able to tell you. I'm putting on the spot, but there's something about the their split cell panel. So apparently, if part of it is in the shade, the it will still be taking sunshine on the other part of it um, but really impressed it keeps us running all summer long so that we haven't had to run the engine at all no. and we can be quite energy heavy uh, the only thing we have to run the engine for is the washing machine yeah. but other than that it's um, they're, they're brilliant in the winter it'll be a different kettle of fish obviously because there'll be less sun and then we'll have to run the engine a bit more regularly but you know you're still pulling a little bit of energy yeah we, I was quite surprised we was, even when on cloudy days in the winter we still we get some won't we like 100 or so yeah so this is a a basket of fire chili i don't know what that means but i like chilies so i'm gonna grow one and i've overpacked my lettuce so every now and then i give it a thinning out because i think it's a little bit over over full but we'll see and i've got some strawberries coming in my strawberries but i want to get more bits and pieces on the roof but this was just my first start really and we did have two camping chairs um, oh, we still have got the camping chairs, but we spent a little bit of money on getting some nice comfy chairs some because um, Sonia loves the sun. Um, and sometimes it just feels like being on holiday. So, for example, this afternoon, it's a beautiful day. So what we'll do is we'll get these down, set ourselves up on the towpath, a few cold beers, read our books. Lovely. What a lovely way to spend the day. It's like shocking, isn't it? Yeah, sounds awful. We even yesterday... Sonia turned down going to the pub for the first time ever since she was like 12, I think, was the last time you turned down going to the pub. And, um, <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> well, she turned down going to the pub because it was like, well, we might as well get our chairs out and have like a cold one from the fridge, yep. which we did, which was lovely. And save a tenner. And also up here is our free fuel. Free fuel. We stole in a previous episode. We didn't episode. steal. We did not steal. It was a mistake. Yeah, it was a mistake. We might have stolen. We don't know. Um, these are the bigger bits that we've not cut down yet, but most of it is in the bag in the well deck. Um, well, before we move on as well, these windows are quite cool because they come out really easily, don't they? Yeah, you take the glass out. Yeah. It's just, just, they you, just slide, it slides out. Yeah, so um, during the summer, when it starts getting really hot, it will be like having a hatch on this side as well. Yeah, the only thing we don't want to do is smash the glass. <laughs> it's the only thing stopping me from taking it out. <laughs> but yeah, so all the windows we can take out are quite yeah. easy, can't we? Yeah. Um, moving on to the top. This is our... This here is our rubbish gangplank. Oh, it's awful. Sonia demonstrated in the last episode, you heard the crack as she, she trod on it. Um, yeah, we, we, we was being cheap, basically. We went in yeah. there, this was 20 pounds. One that would have worked was like 40 quid. So we yeah. thought, oh, 20 pounds, what's it matter if we have to end up drowning? Doesn't matter. <laughs> so we went with the cheap one. We were being cheap. <laughs> we were being cheap. As my mum says, you buy cheap, buy twice. Yeah, so. Shout gonna, out to my mum. So we're gonna buy it twice, and there's our new, um, Barge pole. Barge pole, which Did. has already come into a lot of use. It's like the most used barge pole on the um, on the Thames this week. And we've also got our, um, this is our chimney sweep. Oh, it's all plopped back into place. Um, this is for us when we sweep our chimney, which needs to be done before summer now. I don't think we're going to be using the fire again, so they kept keep that up there. Yeah, just let our train go past. Train. Train. Um, and as I move down, this is known, every boat's got one of these. <laughs> Dirty slipper. <laughs> This is the dang slipper from on the Thames when I just collapsed into it. I just. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think enough said about your dirty slipper. Yeah. Life boy, slipper? obviously, very important. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then onward to the water there. What's this called, Tony? This is the back of the boat. Well done. So, is it, well, this is our cruiser deck, isn't it, basically? Yeah. So, this is our cruiser stem. We have done a little bit of work on this. We've got. Um, this that comes across, this is Sonia's security, so she does that every time we go out to stop people from getting on the boat. It's very effective. <laughs> yeah, it's our security. Yeah, there are no six-year-old children who could get on our boat anymore. <laughs> so, so I like these doors, actually. We had a choice. Yeah. We could take the doors off and have the skirt that come all the way round from the, when we had the cratch done, but we decided to keep the doors because yeah. we quite liked them, didn't we? So this is our cruiser deck. It's a lovely space. Yeah. Well, when we, were, when we were buying the boat, when we were buying the boat, um, we didn't care, did we, about no. what kind of, what do you even call it? <laughs> so stern. Yeah, we didn't care what kind of stern, because you've got, um, obviously this is a cruiser, we've got a bit of space, and then it gets 
Um, you get a semi trad. Semi trad, so it comes down to about here ish kind of thing. Yeah, so you've got the inside bit comes to about here. Yeah. And the engine's kind of inside, I think. Yeah, and then you've got the trad where it, you've got the bit of the front kind of thing. Back. With less, but a bit of the back. A tiny bit of the back. I get that all the time. <laughs> I don't know why, it just feels like, I don't know. Anyway, so we didn't care really because we kind of thought, well, with this, you get a lot of space, but you lose a little bit on the inside. It was so it was all like swings and roundabouts. But as soon as we got it, we were actually really pleased we got it. Yeah. Um, we used it. When did we use it? The other week, son. When Mitch and Olivia came. That's right. So when Sonia, Sarah, and Mitchell came down with Olivia, um, and we all just sat out here and we had a drink, and when we um, went for a cruise, we were all out here together. Yeah, it gives really, you more really space nice. to be a bit more sociable with people if you're cruising. If you've got a trad stern, you've got to do it kind of on your own. Yeah. So there you go. That's the, um, oh, there's the engine panel. There's the control panel for the yep. engine. No condensation. Right. That's how we go forward. Go that way, get to go forward. That way to go forward. That way to go reverse, which we try to avoid at all costs because oh, God, it's yeah. just unpredictable. Who knows? And then there's the switches to do the horn and the lights yeah, and things. All the bits and bobs down there. Oh, oh, can't see it. There's all your bits of bobs are down there. And I do, I just want to point out as well, Son, have a look at this. Just want to point out, Sonia oh. made them just before we started videoing this <laughs> because she likes the way it looks. Normally they're just in a big pile on here, but look, they're lovely, don't they? Oh, when we're stopped for a little while, they're not in a pile. We do tidy them up. And also, when you look at the floor... I've just swept it. <laughs> <laughs> you can so, still see the brush marks. So under here, we have our engine bay. So under Tony's feet is our engine bay. It's hot at the moment because it's black and it's sunny. Yeah. Um, so this is the engine bay. It's really hard to lift up, actually. There's one thing that annoys yeah. me. But I can, I'll, I'll, I'll do it to show. So the other engine bay seems to have like a little hook on oh. oh. uh, The little hook or something in here that you just put your finger under and pull it up. But this, no. No? No, it's just a big heavy metal thing. Heavy metal? And to protect our little skirt, we put the diesel can there so it doesn't crash into our skirt. That will plastic skirt that we've got around the back. So to do that we have to get the screwdriver or a chisel. Today it's a screwdriver. Very technical. And we open her up. And there she is, a Beta Marine 43. It's a 43 horsepower of lovely, lovely engine. She's just, just a great engine actually. Yep. Really does a good job. And there, over there that's how we get, um, that's our Basto, so that's how we get hot water when the engine's not running. And we've got our batteries to the side, haven't we? Yep, I'm going to try and get you down there. So we've got the batteries there. I need to go and top those up at some point of ionised water. And then we've got some batteries over there as well. Yeah, they're like 110, our batteries. But obviously, they're not lithium, so you can only go to about half that power. But yeah, that's our lovely, lovely engine. Yep, and if Sonia moves round, then I'll open up and just show you where the weed hatch is. Right, so let me just step over this really hot floor. Well done. So that is our weed hatch. Yeah, I won't open it up now, but I'll, I'll see if I can put a bit of the footage in so you can kind of see. So we have had a couple of weed hatch um, openings. Yeah. Um, so what happens in there is that's how you access the propeller. So when you're traveling the canals and um, et cetera, on the rivers, if you get anything tangled up around your propeller, you can't move because the propeller doesn't spin. Yep. So you have to go in there and pull it all out. And the te technical term for a propeller is a prop. Don't know where that comes from though. <laughs> okay. But there's things we want to do in here, so there's lots of things, there's loads of boat jobs we've got. So as you see, all the, all the underside of the engine bay has been really quite neglected, so it's quite rusty. Um, so our next, once we've done the cratch board, we're going to get in here and um, just clean up the engine bay really. So we've done a good job so far, we've now got the channels are now empty so water drains away. So it's quite dry in here, but we really want to get it all treated and painted so it's easier to keep nice yeah what we did find is when it was raining um when we opened this up it was there was loads of water in there mm -hmm. um because these were all blocked all of this was blocked up here they had so like stuff there, in tony's it tony's foot between tony's foot there's a little hole that's where the water drains from now if they get blocked the water just builds up builds up and then it just spills into the engine bay yeah and so we've we seen get that sorted out. we've seen some they've got things growing in these things so people <laughs> just never do it so we're trying to keep on top of that a little bit but it, you know it's windy and we often reverse into trees and things <laughs> so <laughs> drift off into trees and all the branches come down so you get bits in there but it's something you have to keep on top of really so there's a little bit of water down there but Sonia was saying she thinks that was last time when I did the 
weed, weed hatch. hatch. I think the water came in when we did the we entered the weed hatch on the Thames. There was quite a lot of water in the weeds that were being pulled out. So we'll right. suck that out with our Titan. Yeah. And then you, if, um, if you can hear the sound, it's always a bit scary dropping these down because you feel like you're going to end. I like, think about losing a finger or a toe. Yeah. As you're doing it in bloody flip flops. Back with flip flops, are So this is the one. This is the doozy. This is where we have to have a, a quick right. Three, clear. Everyone's clear. Clear. This is what the um, cruiser deck looks like when we have the pram cover up. Um, What's really nice about it, especially in the winter, is this is a place where we could put our shoes and our boots and stuff um, and not traipse mud into the boat all the time in the winter. So it's really handy for that. Um, and it's just like an extra room, really. But it does, it can get quite hot, which is why we have the sides up, as you can see. Yeah, so next step, we'll Thanks take you inside. inside. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, but first, I've got to tidy up. Let's just take you. Inside. And there's Sonia waiting for us. Right, Son. So this is where the magic happens? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this is our bedroom. Yep. It's where we sleep. So yeah, we've got loads of storage in here, more so than you'd think. Exactly. So at the moment the bed is up. away. It's away. So this was the size it was originally. Yeah, to here. So it's all folded up now. Um so you can see underneath we've got Big drawers to clothe, store loads of clothing, yep. which is good. So there's um, three of those big drawers that are under here. Yeah, so we'll and they're full. With, this has got all that summer stuff and current stuff in it right now. Yeah. And our winter stuff is all stored underneath. So they're, they're storage right the way up to the gunnels underneath the bed. Yeah. So when we're cruising, we have the bed like this. Um, yep. so that we can walk backwards and forwards easily so obviously it's, it's important I suppose for safety but also just, you don't want to be crabbing down the side of the bed so when it's down we basically we just flip the legs down and then the mattresses so you can see that's what it's like when it is down so you guess you can see that, that you can get past so if we're in a place for a few weeks or a few days we leave the bed down because we don't want to keep putting it up and down. But then you can just scooch up and down the side. Brilliant. So we've got a double wardrobe at the end of the bed. We've got loads of room for our clothes, to be fair. More room than you'd think. Um, as you can see, it's not even packed, really. Um, but more importantly, we've got an extra little fridge, an Alpicool fridge. And it goes, it drops the temperature of the stuff really, really quickly. It looked like a normal standard 12 volt fridge. Yeah, which has been perfect. So in this sunny weather, we've just been getting drinks straight out of that. And how about storage? Storage what? All around here. Oh, storage, there's storage. So in here, we've got like the cupboard. Yeah. Full of stuff. Again, not organised, but it is organised. It's got a hoover in there. And then we've got our electrics cupboard up here. 12 volt, 240 volt. That's our inverter. And that's our hot water and central heating. Yeah, and we pay a lot of attention up there. It tells us how much... We're on float at the moment, so we need to go and charge something. Right, now we're on... that... Oh, no, you missed this one. Oh, yeah, go, 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 go. This is another cupboard. Yeah. Oh, we just emptied this cupboard. This used to be our DIY power tools cupboard, but I've yep. now put those underneath the dinette, so we're now storing other stuff in here. That's our something to do with the heating. That's the header tank. And here... Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you've done that. <laughs> That is not normally where we keep cans of drinks. It's a it's perfect just, place though, isn't it? It's very good, but I didn't know that. But <laughs> what I'm saying, no, we don't normally store drinks there, no. but we went shopping today because we've got the car yeah. and we stopped up for our summer on the Thames. So. In here is our mooring stuff, all our mooring pins, ring um, chains and stuff like that. And in the bottom bit, we put our shoes in there. Cool. It. That's also going to show she's got thousands. Melda Marcos. So is she a dictator? <laughs> yeah, but she was found with thousands of shoes. No, she had shoes. loads of shoes, but please, do not, please stop liking me to a dictator. <laughs> if the shoe fits. Not which pair. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to scooch past the bed. <laughs> right, this is our she bowl. does that in the night, by the way, and then <laughs> tickles my feet as she walks past. Oh, come on, as if you can resist. Do you know what I mean? I'm up, everyone's up. So this is her bathroom. 
Uh, it's a walkthrough. It's a walkthrough bathroom. Obviously, it's quite self-explanatory, which is what we wanted because we felt like a corridor bathroom. We'd end up losing a lot of space that we could use otherwise. So we've got a walkthrough bathroom. Yeah. Um, we do have a door. We did have a door here, but it opened this way, and because of the bed now being extended, you can't open the door with the bed extended. So we had to move it because of the BSS certificate. You'd fail it. But we are going to put it back on, and it's going to open out that way. But we have to chop a bit off so it gets past the tower. Another DIY job. <laughs> For you. Never done so much DIY in my life. Anyway, shower. It's a great shower. Water pressure's really good. Um, lots of room. But we need to put on a new screen. Yeah, if I come round, I have to stay there because otherwise I get too close. But yeah, go on the sun. So look, yeah, the panel here is missing. And we knew this when we bought it, but it's not a big deal. But we will get a new shower screen. Yeah. But they put a shower curtain up instead, which means water goes on the floor a bit. Yeah, and the, the thing doesn't quite meet, does it? Though? Is no. it one of the runners is off, or something you said? One of, the, one of the runners at the bottom's off. So you can see that gap there. Yeah, so hopefully we get a new screen and that will just all sit nicely. We keep the washing basket in there at the moment, but it does migrate. We can't decide whether we prefer it in there or in the bedroom. Well, you prefer it in the bedroom, I yeah. want it in the bathroom. Yeah. I like it there because it's nice and tidy and it's not in my face and that makes the bedroom look bigger. <laughs> Tony likes it in the bedroom for convenience. So right. I think he's just getting dressed in here first. <laughs> There's like loads of storage underneath the, they've got a cupboard underneath the sink. Yeah. Again, full of stuff. And yeah, it's just nice. Yeah, just very, very briefly, just round this oh, corner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a... Oh, then I'll come round here so you can see. Yeah. So we've got a cassette toilet. Everyone's in Apparently, whenever you go on the motorboat, first thing, what do you do about going to the toilet? What toilet do you have? It's like a big conversation uh, piece on the on the narrowboat. So we have a cassette toilet. Yeah. Underneath the cassette, uh, underneath the actual toilet, there's a little cassette box that collects your waste. Uh, I've got down there to show for you to see. And this is the door. A lot yep. of people call it the poop door. We don't call it anything, do we? No, it's just the door. But this is the cassette here. I can't bend down. Take it to the L sand point and empty it into the facilities. And it's not as bad, right? It's not as bad. I thought it was going to be horrible, right? I've seen some videos and that everyone, like, it never looks pleasant. We've been on it, what, four months now? Yeah. Every L sand point so far, fingers crossed, has been quite well kept, quite well looked after. People have been quite good. Although I did get something off for you. <laughs> I, <did. laughs> I won't say the nickname I had for you. Yeah, no, I did get a bit on my foot, which it, well, there was a bit of splashback, which I was not impressed about. <laughs> this is our galley. Plenty big enough, I think, for all the meals that I cook. Yeah. So just storage and things again, as you're right by it. And that looks, you look like um, an air stewardess. <laughs> and the exits are to the left and so to the right. If there's no oxygen, this will fall down. <laughs> So yeah, so we've got little covers up here. They're all right. They're a funny shape, mind you. Fridge. A full fridge for a change. Full fridge. We went shopping today. We're stocking up. But I'm going to show you quickly because it's hot out and it's just taken us all day to get it that cold. Yeah. Um, so you can see why the other fridge is useful. Oh, definitely. Because if you've got loads of drinks in there, there's no room for food. Um, yeah. I know what I'd rather have. Fridge. Uh, fridge. Washing machine. That's been our problem there. That's the fridge. <laughs> no wonder we've had to get a new washing machine. I've got clothes in there ready to go tomorrow when we're on the move. <laughs> So these, so yeah, the washing machine which we've plumbed in ourselves, which we did a good job on. Yeah. But you'll, you'll see, see in the next video yeah. what happens when we... We don't want to give it away, but it's, it'll be a good watch, I'm sure. But it's just nothing, nothing is straightforward. No. Anyway, drawers for stuff, loads of stuff. They're not even full. No. I could cram more stuff in there if I tried. And then this, make love. So we, we got this pulley out cupboardy thing, like so. And then it took us about two weeks to discover that it does this as well. Yeah. <laughs> so for the first two weeks, we were on our knees, like in the dark cupboard, <laughs> trying to find our shopping. But now we know it does that, yeah. which makes life so much easier. I'm not saying Tony's got a chocolate addiction, but geez. <laughs> That's for today. There's so much chocolate in there. Anyway, so much. It reminds when I eat it. Cooker. Yeah. <laughs> I thought there was glass on this cooker. There was glass on that cooker. What happens to the glass on that cooker, son? <laughs> it exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it explode? Oh, because I put the lid down and forgot to turn the gas off. And it properly exploded. It, it was a 
bang. I didn't know what was going on. It went everywhere. The glass. I'm still mean, finding it. We're still finding glass now. Yeah. But it's okay. I looked at how much it was to replace the glass and then decided we'll wait for the cooker to pack up and buy a new <laughs> cooker. Because it hasn't really affected the way it looks. In actual fact, it's a bit better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was proper scary. It was only a matter of time. I, I kept knocking it. I, I think I'd have broken it eventually. So yeah. you just took one for the team. But it was. It, it just. I can't even tell you how far the glass went. There's still bits of. Oh, every now and then we find a, a little cube of it in the bedroom, and yeah, I was lucky it didn't cause any damage. It was to me because I was cooking. It ruined my pizza. For a change. It ruined my pizza. You did your first straight away. I had to you throw my happy. pizza away. I was not happy. I was starving. <laughs> anyway, that's that. And then I've got a, got a wine rack, but it's getting empty now. So yeah, a little soul. We need to work on that one. Yeah, a little soul totally. on that was, wasn't it? <laughs> um, Getting a bin to fit under the gunnels was tough, wasn't it? To yeah, start with. yeah, they're all too wide. All too wide and blah, blah. I mean, now we've got a bag as well for our recycling stuff, so we try and separate because that bin gets filled up too quick. Yeah. With all of our. We've got the hatch as well, where you've made all your friends this week. Right, Ducky Duck Face and Swanny McSwanson. Yeah, you've got Ducky Duck Face and Swanny Swanson. <laughs> They visit regularly. When you say we, you have that, yeah. yeah. Oh, they love it. If I, if I see one of them go past, I call one and they turn around and they come back. Only because I fed them once. Yeah. And um, But now I've run out of stuff and they don't eat the oats as well as they should, which annoys me because it's a waste of oats. Right. I'm guessing anyway. we're coming on this way. Yep. Oh, you've got two plants there as well. What are they now? Oh, my two herbs, mint and chives. Mint and chives. For my new salad. That was for today. You got that. So this is our dinette area. Yep. This is where we tend to eat. Obviously, there's a table and chairs, and it's we wanted to dine it, didn't we? Yeah, massively. And it was one of our like we, we made a list of stuff for the boat, and we, when we went to look at some um, one of the marinas, he said if you get seven out of ten things on your list, he said buy the boat, and the dinette was on then. We, but we didn't care if it was a Pullman or a L shaped. No, we kind of I had I had a vision in my head of sitting at one of these with the sun outside and. Um, on the laptop and well going by and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I kind of was inclining towards one of these. A Pullman. Because yeah. because this way both of us sit and look out the window. If you're on an L shaped, one of you's got your sight, I don't know. Yeah. But um but we weren't gonna get that fussy. But we we really did want to done it done it. And this converts to a double bed as well. So this is our two yeah. birth bed. And under here you've got like the little wooden ridge and the table drops down, take the legs down sits on there and then the cushions make the double and then underneath you've got storage under there yeah which again is not even full is it no but only one thing we we think maybe one day we might do is put another hatch there didn't we because it would be yeah. quite nice to, have to do the hatch on a hot day yeah a lot of people i've seen lots of people have put retrofitted hatches in yeah um so if we've ever got money just sitting around doing nothing um maybe we'll do that but at the moment it's not necessary. No, right, right. On to the last bit of the boat. The saloon. I'll let you walk past. Okay, cool. So here's our saloon. This is our power bank. Oh, yeah, that's very important, actually. Take it to... Wait, to what? Yeah, it's basically it's double. For the same price, it's double what you get with other well-known brands that we see all the yeah. time on the other vlogs. Yeah, this one's a two kilowatt one, um, but it runs all of our heavy-duty stuff really, yeah. really well. Yeah, and it uh, doesn't take long to charge up either when we're running, no. when we're moving. Lounge, saloon, yeah. um, TV cabinet, which we adjusted to make way for our bigger TV because we didn't want a small one. Yeah, so if I tell you from this angle, you can see it properly. So there's our big TV. That's how it didn't fit in before. Now it does. Now it does. And just zoom in on the books down there, just at those. It's shameless. A little shameless plug. Da, da, da. Right. right. Okay, moving Back on. Up. And uh, we've got a sofa bed, barn sofa, which we didn't pay for. We, no. We inherited this. And although we had our kind of heart set on the swivelly captain's chairs because they look really comfortable um we thought we'd see how we went with a sofa and we really like it yeah and it's got storage underneath and it makes a comfy double bed so we can sleep six here yeah. although could you imagine six people in here oh god this as, week as, <laughs> as it is we have to keep passing we've got passing points um but yeah, yeah looks, we can sleep six people if we want to it's the first time i put it down this week wasn't it to yesterday putting some stuff away and um yeah it looks really comfy yeah it does it all flogs out flat so it's all good yeah and then round where you are. With my favourite thing on the boat, my multi-fuel stove. But yeah, I can see why people are starting to switch to diesel because of the, 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 how clean they are, but I do love the flame. 
yeah, I'm the same. Mm. I'm the same. I put up with the mess and that a little bit, just to have sit there when there's all the flames there and the spitting wood and all that kind of stuff. It's just <laughs> lovely. Quite a sound, isn't it? When yeah, it's, it cracks. Yeah. yeah. It's just nice. It, it gets so hot though as well, doesn't it? So we, we oh, yeah. sometimes we stoke the fire in the winter. Everyone says, oh, how cold is it on the boat? It's not at all. The bedroom might get cold, um, but if you've got your fan running and you learn how to, it took us a little while to get used to stoking the fire, but oh my God, sitting here, I was like yeah. sweating. Yeah. Carbon um, monoxide lamp, obviously. Cupboard. Full of our fancy glasses. And we've got more cupboard where bits and bobs get stored. Games, uh, board games and stuff are in there. Other camera yep. equipment and stuff. And you got that the cameras there that we've shown in another video yep. as well no, with the internet. Camera. Right, I'm going to pass over to Sonia, who's going to just take you for a walk through the boat one last time. Before I do, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching up to this point, and please subscribe. It makes such a difference to our channel and to us. Thank you. Mm -hmm.